We've been obviously chatting to the other cast members. And they've told you how wonderful I am. And they have, they? Yeah. yes. But we wanted to know how well they knew you. This is a good, so good, good test. we said, here's some of Brian's riddles. Right. Can you ask them? Right. So Hopefully I can. Shall we try? Well, go on then. Okay. Right. What do you call a green fly with no arms and legs? Uh, a bogey. What's the difference between Brussels sprouts and bogeys? Uh, kids don't eat Brussels sprouts. This is going way back. I don't still do this no. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a woman athlete who blows off in your beer? Oh, fuck me, whip bread. Yeah. Oh, God, did I really do that? That's <laughs> awful. Sorry. Last oh, one, last one. What's the difference between a gas bill and an emu? Oh, God, how long ago <laughs> lives in a gas bill and an emu? They can both shut their bills yeah. up, up their there. back. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Well See, and there's, there's only there's only the uh, the sisters that got all of them right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. David was the one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Didn't yeah. try Michael on them, did you? The producer. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah. did. He got two. He got two right. He got two. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, well done. Yeah. 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 So, what makes you laugh? Ah, I love funny people. I love Tommy Cooper. Mm. I was a huge fan of Tommy when he was obviously here. Uh, thank you very much. Well, I've had that deep drone, you know, mm. so I, I do sound a little bit like mm. him, dare I say. Mm. Um, and Peter Sellers and Spike Milligan. And I like funny people. Classic old school. Yeah, yeah, but funny people. Bob Monkhouse was clinically funny. You know, what he said was funny. He wasn't a funny person. I like funny people. You know, I like Steve Martin and... Uh, Jim Carrey and, mm. and that and uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I love Sellers in the the Clouseau films mm. and that. But yeah, but Tommy, without a doubt, always you know my my dad used to love Tommy as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So no. Did you always want to be a comedian then? Because you no, went to drama school, didn't you? Yeah, I was. And the singing was my thing. Mm. Oh, I had a strong singing voice, and uh, and the comedy just sort of was because I kept messing about all the time. Uh, I'd get up there and sing and then I'd be messing about, I'd be cheeky. And that's what Buttons is, you know, he's yeah. just like a cheeky little lad. Yeah. You know, that's the yeah. way I play. Yeah, he's yeah. like a cheeky little 13 year old boy and he's sort of <laughs> like, you know. Mm. Yeah. So you've done quite, you've done musicals, mm -hmm. you've done, you've presented shows yeah. as well. And you do I like the one on TV show. at the moment. That's oh, thank great you. One. That's TV the main one. Yeah, We've got that. another series of that. I love that yeah. one, I love it. You're really nice in there. It's a nice, Informal but formal. Type. Yeah, it's, it's really a nice. gentle. Ge yeah, yeah, it's what we wanted. We just lovely, wanted and to yeah. really get to know the. the yeah, you know. Really but lovely, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, nice. Have you got a favourite kind of genre, or do you kind of? Uh, I enjoy it all. I really do. I mean, whatever I'm doing, I get bored and I go, oh, I wish I was doing some more telly. Oh, I wish I was mm -hmm. doing some more of this. But I think the one thing that's always sustained and been right the way through, and I'm not just saying it is pantomime. Mm. I really. Honestly, enjoy the freedom of it. I love the fact that it's not you're not sort of like stuck in a rut, you know. I mean, it's tough when I've done Barnum recently for a whole year. You mm. are doing the same thing every night. Yeah. Where pantomime, you can have fun, yeah. and they love you to have fun. The audience mm. desperately want you to mm. mess about, and that's mm. what's exciting, yeah. you know. It's going, yeah, we can push it, we can have some fun here, you know. Well, it's interesting because I, I had the privilege of seeing you in Hairspray twice, yeah. and I loved that characterization you had there which is almost even though it was a, a serious musical it was almost had that element of panto yeah. in that and I think yeah. that I couldn't have picked anyone that would have played that part as well as you oh, did because you. it combined your singing talents yeah. and your panto talents and it, yeah. it, it was brilliant I loved it yeah no it's a great I really I really enjoy Hesper I love yeah, the yeah. energy of it and uh, Totally different to Barnum and Jolson and other things mm -hmm. I've done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the, uh, Jolson and Barnum, you've got quite um, hefty yeah. roles in that. There's, yeah. there's, there's, it's, there's that um, sadness element to it yeah. as well, isn't there? Yeah. Where you've got, and people, I think people are surprised that you can. I think they yeah, are. I think I've always got that panto image. Yeah. But yeah, they're surprised when they when you're doing Barnum and you're playing a character, and same with Jolson, you know. Mm. But, uh, no, I think without a doubt, if there's one box that is definitely Brian Connolly, it's pantomime. You know, yeah. I, I do enjoy it. Because the others were saying they kind of like they make sure that they've they've cleared the way for the rest of the year so that they can yeah. fit the panto in because yeah. they enjoy it so much. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's hard work, and you do get paid. <laughs> 
Yes. But, you know, I do enjoy it yeah. as well. Yeah. Is there ever, is, was there ever a time when, like, a sliding doors moment when you thought that your career could have gone in a completely different path? Well, that's a really good question. But I, I, when I was much younger, I auditioned for a rock band. Ah. Uh, and I was about 20, 21 or something. And I auditioned for this rock band. And uh, I never knew, I didn't know what the band were or whether they'd go on. But what I do know, I never got accepted. They said, we think he's just a bit too young for the band mm. at the moment, you know. But they, they really liked my voice. And I always said, I wonder what would have happened <laughs> if I'd have gone mm. and suddenly yeah, I'd been yeah. a rock singer or something mm. like that. Yeah, do you know what happened to them? No, no, I didn't. No. They obviously failed because they <laughs> of course they did, because you weren't in it, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. What, what would you say is the highlight of your career so far? Well, there's been many. Yeah, I've recently it? just, I've just done Barnum for Sir Cameron McIntosh, yeah, so I, I really that. enjoyed yeah. that. Uh, Jolson is another big sort of uh, thing that mm. you know that really sort of turned people's heads and made them set up and think, oh my God, there's a bit more to him. Than, uh, I think that was the first time I realised that you were, you know, you could do musical theatre. Yeah. You yeah. weren't a, yeah. just a comedian. But I love playing Fagin as well. Yes. When I've done that yeah, yeah. for Sir Cameron. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot of years respect ago. for Sir Cameron. Haven't yeah, you? I do. I well, really who wouldn't? Do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he started yeah. with nothing. He's a billionaire and owns eight theatres in London and. You know, he's just one of the greatest sort of uh, musical the yeah. theatre producers. But it was still co-produced with Michael Harrison, yeah, yeah. you know, so yeah, yeah. that was exciting. And I really do admire Michael. I think he's a wonderful, wonderful uh, mm. producer. Mm. He's lovely. It says a lot for you that he, that Cameron McIntosh actually asked you to be involved, didn't he? Yeah. So you didn't yeah. have to audition or anything? No, yeah. no, 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 no. They just said, right, we want you to do it. Mm. And that's when I, I didn't sleep. For some time, I'm oh, worried about it. Oh, yeah, because he walks on a wire and yeah. he has to do still walk, and there were so many skills, and you're on all the time. Mm. Mm. What's it like working with Lindsay? Oh, Lindsay's great. Yeah, she really she understands comedy, she's very, very strong, wonderful performer. I mean, she's in the West End at the moment, you know. Yeah, and that tightrope. Did you ever think yeah. of putting the old Dangerous Brian outfit on and doing it? <laughs> I should have done something. Yeah, like that would have been a nice. Go on, I did that. Go on, sometimes people will shout, Go on, Dangerous! <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yeah. When I saw you do it, you looked, I don't know how much of it was real or not, but you had to do it quite a few times. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's no, I know. Sometimes it, it happens. Sometimes yeah. it would be like, oh, this is it. I know exactly what I'm doing. Mm. It's one of those things. It's just it will bite you on the bum, mm. you know, because it, it you think, oh, I got it now, I know, but it doesn't. There's so much to it. It's mm. all about. It's not about getting across. It's about staying on the wire every yeah. step, you know. Yeah. You know, but it is. Yeah, because. You had to get across it, didn't you? You couldn't have like, just like yeah. Given well, there up, was a plan B. Oh, there was. <laughs> there was a plan B where <laughs> okay. we used to get one of the guys jump up on the other one's shoulders, put his hand out, and then I'd hold, open, open up uh, my jacket. Right. So I keep looking at my face. <laughs> just go across like that. We used to get a laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, how many times but, did you have to use plan B? Uh, in, in the whole run, probably about ten times, fifteen. 10, oh, 15 right. times. Okay, not too. Bad. Yeah, but often, if if the stage had a rake. Because this has got a little rake as well. Mm. You know where it sort mm. of just goes mm. forward a bit? It means your peripheral vision's off. So, sure. you know, you're going like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what did you do? Did you have to focus on something? Yeah, you just yeah. focus yeah. on the other end. They, they used to put a little bright little spot there and you used to just... Oh, OK. Now, you strike me as the sort of person that likes winding people up. No. <laughs> no. Like, no. He said that straight to camera. Like, that's oh, no, not no, been the first no, time no. that's been said, has it? I'm not... No, but I'm not... <laughs> Uh, so, no. Really? No, so you wouldn't even like, for instance, wind your own mother up? Oh, well, I agree there. <laughs> that is true. So you've seen that, have you? Yes. Yeah, well, that was, I was doing a show with uh, Darren Day. Mm. We were doing this show all about Neil Diamond, and uh, he was staying around my house because we were doing a venue near me, and uh, it was my daughter said, why don't we wind up nannies, tell her that Cliff Richards around the house. And so one thing led to another. And it's got about 10,000 people have watched it. You know, it's like a friend of mine put it on. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so you have to see it. Did she smack your bottom after that? She oh, she hasn't lived it down. She loves watching it and she has Does played she? it to her friends, you know. But 
you can't. I mean, Darren Day does the best. Clip. It was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Polly. Yeah. Hi, Polly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has she met? She met Cliff. She? Uh, she has. Yeah. She has met him. Yeah. And 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 Cliff and I met uh, about a year on, mm. and got him to video a little bit, saying, "I'm so sorry about it." Or something. <laughs> oh, that totally made it. it was when she cried. Yeah. So oh, just, no, oh no! Don't no. don't rub it. In. <laughs> so far. <laughs> So let's go back to Christmas and Pantone. Mm -hmm. um, what's your ideal Christmas? Uh, what well, ideal Christmas? Uh, well, it's day off, really. Cause, yeah, because it's that's that's your it only is. day off, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. No, no, no. You get you always get a day off one, uh, every week, but it might not fall yeah. on a Sunday, but it's one day in every mm. week. So for the four weeks, yeah, we get four days off. Okay. You know, but Christmas is just. I don't mind. I mean, if I'm really honest, I love doing Panto, I really enjoy it, and I have a lot of money flying out at Christmas. Mm. And in the new year, I've got the tax man. Oh, yeah. And so for me, uh, it's it's a godsend doing Panto. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I can eat, like I said, as much as I want and not put on any weight. Brilliant. Yeah, you look really true. Oh, I'll fish. take you very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's the best Christmas present you've ever had? My wife bought me, and I'll be using it down here, a, uh, a fold-up bike. Oh, oh right. It fits in the boot. And when I was doing barn, I mean, really coming out, you know, if you're staying in a hotel, and it's just a bit far, and you'd normally get a cab, I just used to get on my little bike, because it unfolded in the car, and I just fold it all up. And yeah. Come in. Oh, yes. Can you tell us a secret about yourself? That we don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> to the national. Yeah. To, uh, it's only to South End. Yeah, it's only, no, only no. South End. <laughs> Sorry, Southampton. Uh, it's only for uh, Southampton. Uh, yeah, well, when I, when I was doing the tour, I ended up having a load more. I have two more tattoos. I have CCC on this one. Cool, calm, and collected, which is everything I'm not. And I have my daughter's names on this one, Amy and Lucy, and a little four-leaf clover because I'm lucky to have two beautiful daughters. Oh, nice. oh. So that's my secret. I obviously got better ones than that. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good enough one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. So, are you like embarrassing dad to your daughters, or do they are they quite proud of you? Uh, no, I think they're proud of me. You know, I'm the dad at home. You know, yeah. they've grown up with me. You know, so. You know, it's all very normal. It's what Dad does. Mm. Goes and does pantomimes. Goes and does shows. You know, mm. my eldest is uh, gone to university and she's studying event management. But my youngest, Lucy, will probably end up in this game because she loves it. She's very much. Uh, She'd be your manager. That's what she's. That's no. what she's aiming for. <laughs> oh, yeah, possibly, yeah. But no, she just loves being out. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really does. She, yeah, she just loves it. And when we do the show, and she'll come up with my wife and stay, I get her on. Oh, yeah, yeah, she does a couple of little bits for me. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. So, what's the most show busy thing that you've ever done in your life? Uh, when I was in Jolson, I did have the company manager come in and say that uh, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman wanted to come, wanted to meet me. Oh wow! Yeah. As in the, I said, tell them I'm busy. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said, all right. And they came to see Jolson, and I met Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Oh, that's the most show. No, but that's not answering your question. What's your question? What's the most show busy thing I've done? Yeah. That kind of good. That's quite yeah, that, All right, happy with that? Yeah. That'll what, they, do they meet your expectations? Don't you had expectations? Yeah, well, only how it literally was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, what a charming man he was, you know. Yeah. 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 That was a while ago because they were yeah. together, they? Yeah, no, that was. A long time. Yeah, yeah 18 yeah. years. And you've done, you've 18 been, years ago. You've done London, the Palladium. Yeah, yeah, I've done that and I've done Chitty Chitty Bang Bang there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've played Cracticus Pots at the Palladium, yeah. so I really loved the Palladium. Yeah. 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 Is there a you've got a favourite venue? Uh, Cliffs Pavilion, yes. South End, not, not South, South End. End. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody noticed that. Right? <laughs> yeah, except you. Sure it. <laughs> right, I think, unless Your Steve's going. Time's very well. valuable to you. Oh, I mean, we well. appreciate it. No, no, it's Thanks. my pleasure. Thanks ever so much. Thank you very much.